Hi, I'm Jody back from Jody's Gems Quilting. Today I would like to share with you just some of my designs, kind of like a mini trunk show. I do trunk shows for guilds and for shops. I've been teaching and designing for 18 years now. I have about 35 to 36 different patterns and I want to give you a little snippet of what I have. This pattern right here is a new variation of my Seaside Retreat. I've had that around for many years, but we've just done a lot of updating to it. You can see by the samples on there, there are a lot of options to that. That's Seaside Retreat. And just to give you an idea, that comes in lots of sizes. This one's really adorable. This is where all the sun rays go out from the center. This one, the two blocks, they either go out from the center or they come into the middle. And so this one's kind of a new layout, which I really love. And uh, my daughter designed that. The Twisted Star Ornament is another one that's my number one selling pattern. It sells so well. And the shops keep ordering it. I keep waiting for it to die out, but it just keeps on going strong. And so that's available. And that features everything from a wreath for your door. Um, you can do tree ornaments. You can do different sizes. You can hang them in windows. I've done a lot of different things with those and that's fused fabric that is cut, twisted, and glued together. Then I also have a log cabin pattern which is great for beginners or anybody and I love this. This one comes in a variety of sizes. Everything from this size here all the way up to bigger ones and this one is actually got a sleeve on it so it will go over the top of a picture frame, an easel picture frame, or you have a rod pocket in there. So that's kind of fun. This one also does the same thing. And I love these little, I love to do little ones like this. And this one is actually my new one, which is English paper piecing. And it's called All For Me. And it's English paper piecing, applique, embroidery, and hand quilting all in there so and there's some videos I've got to go with that so anyway so that's really cute and adorable and I love it for traveling I take it with me I've done a whole bunch of those and I love that size so it's it's a great size for English paper piecing then I have some backpacks I have uh, we, I use these all the time they're always full but they come in three different sizes from toddler all the way to youth and adult size and it's just half a yard of fabric, a tiny little bit of lining fabric, and cording, and you're good to go. That one is very popular, great for making for um, Operation Christmas Child. This is another one that is very interesting. It's wool applique ornaments, and they come in a variety. I didn't know any better, and I put them all in one pattern instead of making a whole bunch of patterns, so those are available. That's the It's Christ Time. Wool applique ornaments. This one's one of my new favorites. It is called Crazy Four Patches. And it is taking four patches, stack and slashing them, and putting them back together. And it takes quilts from plain to amazing. And I love this. It is, this is one charm pack. You've got an extra square. Plus you've got this one here. And all you do is stack and slash four patches. So you make them up. Stack and slash them, put them back together, and you've got really fun quilts. Like I said, this is one charm pack, and I did all the math for you. The sister or cousin to that is the crazy nine patches, which is making nine patches and then stack and slashing those. And that one's really fun. Again, I did it with charm packs. This is one charm pack right here. You get this size, and I love this. You can do it in scraps. You can do it with charm packs. Anything will work. Then I started doing um, a bunch of, we did scrappy quilts about the time I was designing those, and I came up with a whole collection called Scrappy Squares 1, 2, 3, 4, and soon to be 5. I'm really excited about that. So Scrappy Squares 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. This is number 5, and like I said, they're all 4 patches, built into more 4 patches. I did the math for you. So it does sell really well. Even though I always tell my students and people, I see you don't need the pattern. You just start putting some four patches together. But I did the math for you. So if you want to do charm packs 
or you want to do this one will take a little bit of finagling but it's really fun to do I love this one it goes together really fast and quick and easy and it's really about the fabric you can tell you can use some big focus fabrics in there and I've actually done several of them I just need to finish writing the pattern and these are a couple of them this is number two scrappy squares number two I believe this is the way it goes I don't know but you can see that this was all scraps and it pulls together very nicely. This one is another one. This is using a charm pack and a, a extra fabric and then white. That's all I bought to go with that. This one is one of my favorites. It's been around for a while, but I keep adding to it all the time and it's bold and beautiful. It was designed for Stephanie Fran Brandenburg. I created it for her with the big bold prints. She does all the florals. And you'll see that there's a pillow panel size, a full size. This is like a full pillow panel, or a full panel, a normal size. And then this is just a piece of fabric. I also created it for uh, just a, it's smaller panels. I mean, it's all different sizes I've got in there now. I'll show you. This is a pillow panel size. This one is a full panel size, okay? And this one is fun, because this is what I was talking about, the smaller, you'll have smaller, smaller panels, and so you can put it together. I did a vertical one also, so they match. I also have placemats that are, you know, fun to do, easy for gifts, and there's four different finishes to that. You can button it, you can sew it, you can cut it off, you can stitch it down or leave it open. This one was my number one selling pattern to the Twisted Star Ornament, and this is the Starry Wonder Table Topper, and it features eight different sizes from six fat quarters. This is pointy. There is no border on these, and you'll see that here. These are two of the small ones. This is the smallest size of the eight. This is, the I think, the next size up. Okay. And then they get bigger, like up to 50 inches, 52 inches. This is the cousin to it, or the sister to it, which is his eyes on you. And it's taking the same thing and adding borders to it. So we figured out how to do it, one of my friends. We wrote it into the pattern. And I love it because you can do them single and you can do them into groups and pods. So you will see that in some of my other videos. This is a small sample of it. Like if you did a class with that, this is about the size you're going to make. A little bit bigger maybe 36 inch square. So anyway, thank you so much. Make sure that you check my website, my YouTube channel, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day. Bye.